Good day to everyone. We are from BN3F, Group 4A, presenting to you the indicators of academic performance among nursing students in online learning. I am John Giovanni Sanchez. I'm Maria Angela Rosas. I am Jerry Carlsaho. I'm Frances Oliver Santillan. Anna Jeremy C. Taala. Worried about the drawbacks set by the current pandemic, the COVID-19, in which we were forced to stay at home for months in total isolation and other students having problems with their non-conducive learning environment with the sudden shift of education towards online learning. With this, how affected would the third-year nursing students be in terms of their academic performance? As it was stated in a previous study that family responsibilities, living in a rural area, and having a limited internet connectivity can be an e-learning constraint. Also, the incidence of death related to the COVID-19 may affect the student's psychological well-being and academic performance. So we, as the researchers and also nursing students, would like to present to you our study, which aimed to determine the indicators of academic performance of third-year nursing students in online learning. Research design. The research design that was utilized was quantitative correlational research design. This was utilized to determine the strength of the relationship between the study variables. This research design enabled the obtainment of statistics regarding the relationship between the study variables and to interpret it through the utilization of collected numerical data, finding the average and test casual relationships. This also helped in investigating the relationship between the study variables. As for our study sample, we selected 162 out of 273 level 3 nursing students from a local university in Bacolod City enrolled in the second semester of academic year 2021 to 2022. This was calculated using the Slovins formula with 5% margin error. We then utilized probability sampling, specifically stratified random sampling technique which according to Bardwatch 2019, stratified random sampling is a sampling technique wherein the population is divided into subgroups or strata. For the instruments, it is a researcher-made two-parts questionnaire which entails the demographic profile of the participants and the academic performance of nursing students in online learning. For the test of validity, it was given to three nursing research facilitators with master's degree in nursing and it garnered a mean of 4.87. And for the reliability testing, it was given to 30 participants, which are not part of the sample size, and was completed by Cronbox Alpha, and it garnered a value of 0 0.73. Next, for our results and discussion under demographic profile, according to sex, majority of the participants are female with 72.8%. According to section, section G is the lowest with 13 participants, while sections A, C, and D have the most number with 24 participants. According to type of community, most of the participants are from urban community. And according to internet connectivity, 45.1% of the participants belong to category 2B. Category 2B is with limited internet connectivity and with mobile phones or gadgets. Lastly, according to general weighted average or G GWA, more than half of the participants, specifically 67.3%, have 94 to 90 GWA. Next is the indicators of academic performance according to individual characteristics, parental expectations, school, recipient of teaching studies, and learning environment. The results show that when nursing students as a whole have a high compliance with an overall mean and standard deviation, except for learning environment, that showed moderate compliance. This implied that students showed a high extent of compliance in school academic work as indicated by their academic performance as nursing students and the different indicators can boost the academic performance of nursing students if there is a proper and well-established habits, support, and learning environment for learning, especially when different teaching strategies used by the nurse educators help to improve academic performance. Therefore, one would expect a student with self-reliance, parental support, peers and learning methods is to be highly successful in the present academic setting. For the relationship between the indicators of academic performance of third-year nursing students and profile variables, according to sex, there is a significant relationship between school and recipient of teaching strategies and sex and learning environment. Gender and other factors have a direct effect on learning performance of the student. According to GWA, there is a significant relationship between school and recipient of teaching strategy. Difference between indicators of academic performance of third year nursing students' profile variables. According to sex, there is a significant difference between school and recipient of teaching strategies. And according to GWA, 
there is a significant difference between GWA and recipient of teaching strategies. As in the study, this term GWA was used to describe the average of all the subject final ratings of the chosen participants in for the school year 2021 to 2022 first semester. Conclusion. To conclude, over the years, technology has significantly transformed the educational institution. Changes are happening not only in the way of teaching, but also in the learning environment, but also in how they are delivered nowadays based on our experience the problem of the students attending to class due to limited connection and devices that is quite difficult to achieve because of this COVID-19 pandemic. According to demographic profile, sex affects the students' academic performance, although some students have limited connection, it does not affect their academic performance. According to indicators, the students still manage to comply with every requirement, even with all the factors that could distract them from doing their tasks. According to relationship, recipient of teaching strategies and learning environment may have factors that affect the academic performance of the nursing students depending on their sex. Regardless of the connectivity status of the student, it shows that it doesn't affect their academic performance. It always comes down to the internal factor or the motivation and willingness of the student to learn. According to difference, students perceive the teaching strategies that may depend on each of their own respective sexes as sex and GWA affect the indicators of academic performance, which means that different approaches, styles, and teaching in online and in actual setup or face-to-face -face does affect performances of the nursing students, affecting the grades and academic achievements of the students. Section, type of community, and community status does not affect indicators of academic performance of the nursing students. Lastly, as the recipient of teaching strategies and GWA or general weighted average showed a significant result, it means that the two variables interact and affect each other. Thus, the researchers recommend that the different nursing educators and administrators would utilize this result to further optimize the academic growth of the students because how the students will receive and perceive the topics discussed will greatly affect their academic performance and having a quality education can pose a positive view for the parents as they can get their money's worth. As for the future researchers, we recommend conducting further investigation and research aligned to these studies, variables, and problems specifically on indicators of academic performance among nursing students. That's all for our presentation. Again, we are the Group 4A of BSN 3F, and thank you for listening.